Hello, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Larry Tritel, and welcome to Larry's Music Stories. This is the story of a classic song by Jackson C. Frank, Blues Run the Game. The song was written by Frank, and the single was released in 1965. It was produced by a young Paul Simon. At 11 years old, a furnace exploded at Jackson C. Frank's school, and he tells this story. The brand new school was made out of brick, but it had a wooden annex that was used for music instruction. It was heated by a big furnace. One day during music lessons, the furnace blew up. I was almost killed on that day. Most of my classmates were killed. I spent seven months in the hospital recovering from the burns. While he was recovering, he was given a guitar by one of his teachers, and before long he had a passion for music. When Franks turned 21, he received $100,000 in insurance money, and he said about it, I bought a Jaguar straight out of the showroom. Frank's girlfriend, Catherine Henry, purchased a ticket for England on the Queen Elizabeth Ocean Liner. She wanted to end the relationship and get away on her own. And when Jackson found out, he also bought a ticket. They ended up having some good times and some not-so-good times to follow. This much-loved song's been covered by Simon and Garfunkel, Nick Drake, and many others, but it was perfected by the finger-picking folk guitarist Bert Janch. Another great guitarist, John Renborn, said about Frank, I was knocked out whenever I heard him play, and he owned a Martin guitar, which was unheard of in those days. How great is that? I hope you enjoyed this story. Till next time, remember what the great Ian Anderson said. Life's a long song, but the tune ends too soon for us all.